Okay, and we continue with our currency. We're not economically poor. Fuck you, game. Yeah, the game's currency system is a little unbalanced. It asks you too much for too little. Ugh, suck my balls. Ex extremities reach the sky. Its intensity reaches the darkness. I'm out of here. I didn't read that last line. So yeah. Where the hell do we have to go? I don't know, but I don't care. I'm leaving. You can check the map. and the I'm Dante, and I'm leaving. All right. Get out of my way, lamppost. Wait. You know what I wanted to do one time? I wanted to have us record this game, and you guys could just play an unbearable level, and I could just walk out to the gas station, go get a soda, and be like, okay, did he really just leave his own house with the two of us in charge? I mean, that's how this game makes me feel, other than wanting me to go to sleep. Oh, I know where I have to go. Yeah, there's a tunnel around here. Are those red orbs? There's like two red orbs in the towers. Oh, whatever. It passed. How does that even work? What? That thing, the building moved like it was liquid. Because a demon can possess No, it. but look, it's actually like, oh. literally like a gel, like it's wrapped around him. Maybe it's a demon building. Maybe it was born like that. It was made out of clay. Or it had just, it just had bad construction work to it. Damn you, Home Depot. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I dodged. No, you didn't. You moved out of the way. It missed entirely. That's right. I can do this. Plot hole number 12. Why does Re Dante have this rebellion and not the Force Edge? Which is actually answered in... Oh, crap! ...at the end of the first game. It's because he gave it to Trish and it became the Sparta. Ow! <laughs> but then where the hell did this rebellion come from? It wasn't even featured in the first game. No, Alistair isn't even here. I mean, he left Alistair at home. Yeah. Poor guy. Why does this dude get an all non razors? Because he is the building. Oh crap. He's pretty much Wall Street without like a dollar bill to its name. He's Wall Street without that sheen or estimate or anything like that. Okay, I don't like that. Don't do that anymore. You know you could just sword your way through it, right? You could just stand there. Right? I could do that. You but... probably won't don't want to though, because you got bats to deal with. So you know what? You, you bats. Just, you can shoot him this entire time without getting hit. Oh no, I got hit. That freaking oh, big laser thing right. smacked me. Right. He didn't dodge that. Oh, this is nice. Fireworks hadn't been invented yet. Okay, I can't even read that. Nefasturius. These names are not cool to pronounce. Nefasturius. Oh, that wasn't fair at all! That was cheating! What the- uh, Here, I, Change I, direction! I, I thought he just turned invisible for a second there. Except I have the laptop in front of the bottom half of my television screen. Somebody That's right, me. building man. You're no match for zero lightning, I, man. I have to turn this down a little. I'm gonna try and filter out this part of the sound. It's just that the guns make more noise than anything. Nah, despite his gigantic head. Now this is where I can use my freaking sword. I'm gonna enjoy the boss rush that we encounter. Hadouske! Did you just throw the sword away? Yeah. Front flip, side flip. Ha 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 ha! Back flip, front flip. Gun, 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 gun. It seems to me like you can attack him more, like you can cause more damage output if his mouth is open. Yeah, and I could lose a lot more health too because this dude has a freaking laser beam out of his freaking face. He's got an Egyptian laser beam. He's firing the laser. I really? Shit! Oh god, this way. This way. Bingo. Okay, that is pretty good. That's right. I know. Oh, dodge. Your luck ran out. Your luck. I'll kill you. Damn it. Ah! It's, it's interesting. Crap. Because Dante has crap. Dante's catchphrase, jackpot. I don't know if it's supposed to symbolize good luck or anything. Or if it's just a catchphrase it's at the end. Symbolize that he's a gambler. Uh, that's true. Actually, he sucks at gambling. If, for those of you who want to watch... Ow! Oh, my face! He hit me with a laser seen, clothesline. Who haven't seen the anime. It actually a, has a very great art style. It's done by Madhouse. Now you die. Although, again, this is the first... Devil May Cry project conceived after the original game. I'm going to try and Yeet. stick to it as much as possible. But of course, we're going to throw in a few jokes here and there. Crap! Side roll! Side roll! Crap! Crap! 
side blow. Not this crap again. Dodge, 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 dodge. You know how to do high time? I do. Yeah. Sa but... Same command, actually. Yeah. Side roll! Ah, a twist! He's doing his desperation moves. Desperado attack. Desperado blaster! Actually, yeah, I remember that from Season 2. Although, it was always weird how they got the Digimon, like, Stingmon and... Oh, Digimon that was... Sw ouch! ...to do two voices in the same character. Did they do that in the Japan version? Uh, probably. Hooray! Now you die, head. Spam it! Uh, if he does... Okay, I was gonna say. I'm gonna turn into a black cloud. And disappear forever. Screw you, I'm leaving. Okay, I don't know... Uh, Ouroboros! Oh, definitely not a Resident Evil 2 or 1 reference. Yeah, oh, they didn't Sin, Sin City! I wonder where they got that from. Another bee! I hate bees. I really do. Bingo! We have oh. to try and get, like, every devil arm and every firearm here. Because I'm tired of seeing the same bland claymore. Ah, we're good for time. A meeting of power shall end in conflict. Okay, I don't understand. Like, Guidepost for Hunters, Chapter 7, Clause 1. What is Clause 1 in this game? What is a clause? Here. In the beginning of an effect? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think this one's just purely a boss battle. If I have to fight the helicopter again, I swear to God. Oh, never mind. It's a maze. Actually, in this game, Dante and Lucius' cutscenes intertwine a little bit. Like, both of them have half a story. <sighs> See, you're getting tired. I told you. This game will put you to sleep. Yeah, and the fact that I stayed, woke up at 3 o'clock this morning has nothing to do with it. Yeah, well, I woke up at 11, and still, I managed to tire my eyes out by looking at a screen for I'm not hours. talking about in the afternoon. Uh, I had class till 5, remember? Yeah, that, that's I'm talking about 3 a.m. in the that, morning. That's right. Why the hell did you get up so early? I don't know, I just woke up. <laughs> I couldn't go back to sleep. So fuck it. So freaking get on some sleep clothes. Uh, no, I don't take pills. I'm not a junkie. Fine. Uh, yeah, you're not over-the-counter junkie. Perfectly legal over-the-counter junkie. You do perfectly legal you want, doesn't matter. It'll still kill you. Insurance companies. Dante has health insurance. Why would he need it? He doesn't even fucking, like, injure. Well, isn't he technically committing a crime by not having it? No, you don't need health insurance. Okay. I mean, this, this is a guy who does pay his Oh, that was a ninja. You got two some time. Awesome. Yeah. Shock. Two some time is when you get to use guns aimed in two directions. You get to use sim weapons simultaneously. Do you wall. However the hell you did that, I want you to repeat it. It just happened by on, on its own. Oh, I think if you move the stick around while you fire your weapon. I'm doing that. While you're locked on. It ha you have to have multiple enemies on screen. Uh, actually, can't you do two sometime with both Ebony and Ivory? Do you really need to have a shotgun on you? Oh yeah, you can. I just like having a shotgun with Nazis fucking down. I'm gonna do this. You. Uh, it is interesting to see him have Tonight. a shotgun you. in one hand. Ah. Tonight, Devil May Cry 2. Tonight, you. Oh my god, I, I already know what I want to say that's on my mind about this game, but I feel like we have to wait until later until we really get into this. Until we understand the mechanics and the system. Sit down. Although there's no cool tricks in this game, like the slash cancel from DMC1 up against the Nello Angelo boss battle. Although I did a really poor attempt that time. Dude, we had the worst enemy in that whole game. Oh, we did. The Reaper. The Reaper? Oh, right. Right. Dude, with the really big scissors. Yeah. That guy's an asshole. And I fought the most broken enemy. Jesus? Haha! Uh, Sonic Adventure! Grinding! Grinding Wee. on rails. They took it from. Actually, Sonic Adventure came out two years before, my bad. That was pretty fun to watch. Do you know technically that is actually possible if you have amazing balance? Yeah. You have to get soaps, though. Uh, although, don't you have to have, like, a light body in order to just keep a balance hand? I mean, you know, if you balance is your stature, you know, right. so. But, uh, you can actually do that in real life. You have, to shoot, you have the proper shoes. You can buy, like, any skateboard shop. Yeah. What kind of shoes would you need? They're called soaps. Soaps? They actually, were really popular in Yeah, school. Sonic Adventure 2 had those soap issues, shoes on Sonic to promote the product. 
Oh, for the love of all his holy birds, go away. I love how the life gauge respawns. You can't see an enemy. I don't need to see it. Actually, I, I never liked this about Devil May Cry. Like, the first or second. Like, preset camera. Look at all that freaking orbs I just got just from killing freaking nothing. You know, we would have gotten a follow-up to what really happened to Nello Angelo if Hideki Kamiya had gotten a sequel on the ground. Hell, he was asked about it on Twitter. Yeah, in modern day, on Twitter, he said, Plans will be revealed in sequel. So, plans. Who, who knows? Maybe a villain like that isn't out quite yet. Maybe he's really necessary every time. Yeah, maybe he's down, not out. Actually, that's one of the things they also could have fixed. Repeated messages. Subliminal advertising. Or... Booyah. Booyah. I feel like I heard that somewhere. I do like how Dante's bullets just, you know, like get checked out of the gun. Use them to shell casing. Still retains Ebony and Ivory. You know, that is the most bad okay, that that is pretty badass of a devil trigger. I will give it that. A lot cooler than the other one. With uh oh. That's true. And it's more viewable too. It has way more detail by comparison. And, I, and also, I should tell just I should just tell you guys right now. I of course I'll have better playthroughs. It's just that I'm not really too thrilled about playing this game. But since it's in the HD collection, it does give you a much bigger perspective about what Devil May Cry will be about. Always things that you will never want to see again. I wonder what the execs at Capcom were thinking. I mean, they were really high when they thought a game like this was perfect, as long as its brand name was out there to distribute across the market. Oh, I can't get through there. Yeah. And this run a long way. This running down the stairs, and running down the stairs, and running down the vertical stairs. Oh, the spears. How? Yeah, that was fun. I hate those spears. Getting stunned and shot, like, blasted away. No, they're bombs. Yeah, I played the Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. I have not played 8 and 9 for a while. I'm referring to like 10 years ago. Who use? Ow, oh, damn, that thing is sick range. Yeah, it. <laughs> Was that get up at motion like really necessary? That explosion is either a testament of great range on that enemy or just a very badly designed hitbox. Do the Dante roll. Screw you, balls. I'm not even gonna fight them because they're so unnecessary. There's a green platform here. Yeah, you can use that to regenerate your life. Not my life, my devil trigger, but essentially, really? yes, your life. No. Yeah, look. Yeah, because I have my devil trigger on. Oh, oh. Yeah. I just never really came across those too much. Oh, wait. Uh, drain your devil. I mean, turn off your devil trigger. There's a special item up there in the, in the room. Just get more Devil Trigger back. This thing recharges oh. Devil Trigger, not oh, health. I, I, oh, okay. Whatever. Although it can charge your Devil Trigger limitlessly. Yeah. You realize it's that's not doing time. anything. I know, but it means it makes me do something rather than just sit there. Yeah. You just you can fly. Screw this. Yeah. Aha. Keep flying like a flying Dante. It's awesome to see. What is this? Another devil mode. Either another amulet or another... Oh, I think this is a weapon. I see more red in gameplay, like whenever he flies in Devil Trigger, but here it's just gray and cutscene. Flame heart. Magic stone with the foot. Oh, yeah. Bloody useless. Thanks for that. Really? Like how bad? Oh. It's just, it's the same bullets, but red. Fucking damn you, gravity. Um, are these, like, stones color-coded towards designated enemies? I think some enemies might be weak against fire and lightning. I was using lightning and it seemed cooler. <sighs> hmm. I wish you could turn up the music so I could hear it, but the microphone is pretty omnidirectional. It's damn close to the screen. 
probably get off first. Probably get a new mic. Why don't you try fighting fire with fire? Ah! Let's do it! Puns! And it works! It really works? <laughs> that was cool! <laughs> Spin around of death, aerial rainstorm. Die already. Oh, look at that! An enemy killed in lava. Ah, so this game did have environmental kills. That would really suck to fall down there. Not that you can't walk to the side or anything. Ow. Dante in lava. Lava doesn't mean shit. Actually, did it really help Dante? He really double trigger for I don't He's kind of just standing in it, so I doubt it. Or maybe it's just the bug that they never fixed. Yeah, that's a bug. Mm -hmm. It probably is. Hey, uh, that you know, Okay, maybe not. It's just really plot holish of this game to establish that almost nothing can kill this guy. Which is not true, though. Alistair was the only thing that ever came close to it. Okay, we are a little over the 15 minute mark, so... We're not even done with half the mission. Oh, wait a minute, there's a, that's a secret door, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's two doors. No, go back. Go back. Yeah. We gonna hit that door. Awesome. Yeah, there's something here. Yeah, a sword. I think that's Vendetta. Yeah, a decorative sword is the death style or scythe. I didn't catch that. Hit start. You have to manually change weapons through the pause menu. There's a second door here also. Mm, a new devil trigger. Huh. Always finding items in each corner. Hits him right in the forehead, takes his head off. I kind of wish that had been the case. <laughs> Kill Dante. <laughs> ha ha. Mm. Nothing can kill this guy unless he was beheaded by Wolverine, maybe. Oh, yeah, the offense heart. A magic stone with the heart of a vigorous battle god. It makes my offense stronger. I really Eat hate having to freaking go through this. Swords. Vendetta. Don't you want to change ammo? Never mind. Oh, that's not the same pace or anything. Okay, if it's supposed to be closed tight, then why is it just standing there? Like, why is that door that door? That dude is so unfortunate, man. Look at him. Maybe he liked bondage a little too much. Dude, he got a giant freaking okay. rectangular sword rammed into his oh, freaking oh, lower oh, esophagus. Reasonable. That would hurt. Reasonable argument. It's not an argument, that fucking hurts! Well, maybe he volunteered. This is a corporation, after all. We need volunteers to be impaled by this really big rectangle sword. Yes, so that we don't pay you and treat you like slaves. Because I'm the CEO. What I say is the word of God. You birds. Too bad Dante can't do any aerial aim. They've never tried that. Like, he can never aim upwards. Which would be an interesting take, but I can kind of deduce why, because they don't really want to force the screen from the ground to look up in the sky. I wish he had, like, idle animation where he just, like, sat there and, like, flipped a coin for, like, a minute or something. Oh, uh, you mean, like, Sonic, when he doesn't move and he gets tired and he just sits on the ground? Lies, he just taps his foot? Yeah, right. lies down a little. Well, he did that in Sonic 2, actually. Like, if the time... Either the time ran out or when Sonic got really bored. Or is that Sonic CD? Oh, nice enemy spawning, you know, except that you can't really do anything from here. Hey guys, I'll be there in a minute. Not quite time yet. Any minute, guys. Any minute now. Okay. Oh, they even get on the elevator. Okay, so why didn't you just do that beforehand? Oh. Butt face. Wait, Vendetta in Double Trigger actually has a set combo. Maybe I underestimated this game just a little bit. Even better! It has a Helmbreaker! Ooh, boxes. Aww. You won't find Stank within. 
You won't find Raiden either. Raiden doesn't get to hide in boxes. He uses a sword. Hiding behind a sword. In a box, maybe. Oh god, I hated this part. So fucking boring. Well, hey, at least you have all the time in the world to get an S combo. Well, not that much space, though. Yeah, if it doesn't seem like you'll end up with a sword strike, you should probably just aim your gun. It'll give you a little bit of a delay before moving back to D, D ranking. Uh, in Vendetta, with a sword, I mean, all your sword combos have the same animation. I mean, the budget must have What been... the crap? What? That was cool. Okay, that is interesting. An example of enemy AI actually being a threat to you. Oh no, not again! Get out of here, bitch. Bondage. It reminds me of a Christian song that talk about Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> being set free. And don't unsubscribe from my channel just because I'm playing what is essentially known as the worst game in the series. I am doing this for you people. Although Nick loves this game. I actually do. This is not a bad game to me. Uh, honestly, a little bit boring because mainly I've beaten this game like 30 times. But yeah, but it's even boring now when you try to pick it up the first time. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm picking it up for the first time. Though. I'm just I, saying. Like, literally I, beat this game 30 times. I, this game had me fall asleep because. Oh, was... that was Ninja. I'll do that again. Wee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Dante. That's is cool. Is a ninja. He goes forward and then just <laughs> defies gravity entirely. Imagine if you had a ninja for a friend. You'd probably get along with that. The ninja would question, like, what the fuck is up with this guy, man? He does some weird ass shit. With crazy physics that make no sense on any level. Yeah, oh, he kind of breaks physics. <laughs> Ouroboros. You know, um, for the fans out there who've read the tie ins or are curious, elements of this game's backstory are used to coincide with uh, the prequel comic, which acts as, as a setup to the game. Damn it! There's no invisible walls in this game. Invisible wall. Oh, but there isn't. No! Oh. You freaking frackety mother friggin'. Well, at least you can pick up an orb. You didn't really get what you asked for, but hey, who's complaining? I am. Uh, <laughs> I is not. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, yeah! Spin, 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 spin. Every time he goes, oh, yeah, Dante should take a glass of Kool Aid. He should do that. We've seen him drink any alcohol or whatever and fight an enemy at the same time. Imagine if he used his sword and guns while drunk. He'd probably cut his own head off. Those two doors don't really look like a viable passage. I'm where. Hey, look, it's Haihachi. <laughs> huh. Actually, this is more like Nobunaga from the Onimusha series. Yeah. Nobunaga? Yeah. He's got the exact same face. <laughs> Yeah, except this is Arius, the CEO of Dumbry. Wow, we actually had a different rank. Of Dumbry Island, yeah. We, dads. We dumbed down. Huh. Good dads. Okay, we're going to stop the video here. So, see you in the next part. You guys.